Okay. Um, now, so we're just this going to be just lesson eight review. This is for trick, because I people say, oh, lesson eight was so easy, and then it got to the problems, right? And I know I get that, and they don't call them problems for an accident, okay? Now, I just want to go through some of the things that. We need to, uh, so when would I use so ka toa for right angle triangles? Okay. Now, when would I use the cosine law? Nope. Not two loops. So, yes, when you have S, 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 or side angle side okay. and the sine law is the rest and yes two loops right remember this one was the fork so when you did these problems you kind of had to know all and don't forget about Pythagoras for the right angle triangles. Okay. So you need to know that if you're going to get through any of the problems, now these are always going to come in after you've done the diagram. And I could probably assume that most of you had your trouble coming up with the diagram. And the only thing I can tell you is that does take practice. It is not something that is inherent. Okay, it takes slowing down, really thinking about it. Now, some of the rules that are going to come in that are, um, I guess, very important. So you can draw yourself a circle quick, and just remember that it, these two angles are the same. Okay. So they would be the same because they both start at A and end at B. Now I could keep drawing more and more in there, but I think you get the point. Now that is a really crucial one when you're doing these as well. Okay, and I think that when you have your, if we just drew, say, a grid here and a okay Cole can you put that stuff away and say there was one up here okay so here you have your north never eat soggy wieners right and here never wieners okay and then say you went from here to here Now, important things to know that if this is 30 degrees, this would be 30 degrees. Therefore, this would be a 60 degree and this would be a 60 degree. Because those are parallel lines, and we show their parallel lines by doing this to them. Okay, these means they're they're parallel lines. Okay, they're kind of little arrows within the Does everybody get what I was what I'm talking about there? Okay, that if you know the 60, you'll know the 60 on the other side. If you know that 30, you'll know that because and it, you know, I think that it even kind of looks like that too, right? Now, these things right here, I think, are going to get you through most of the problems, but then there was the how to actually get the angle. So let's just do some um, quick examples so you can actually... So what if I had... This is 
20 degrees there. There is three ways to be able to name this angle. Okay, so putting up your hand, what is one way you could say that angle? Yep. North, 20 degrees east. Okay, I'll make my ends better because I know you guys don't like them. Okay, because that's north. Okay, so you can go north, 20 degrees east. Okay, there's two more. Yep. East, 70 north. And the third way. Well, you could say, yeah, you could say it that way, but that actually means that. But there's an actual way to write it. Yeah. Well, it's actually not just 20 degrees. It's like this, meaning the bearing. Remember, this one is the bearing. So it actually should be in the square brackets, or said the word bearing. Bearing is always from north. Okay, so how about we just do two more, and then that'll be enough, I think, for just review today. But, uh, you know, it's important that we're doing these. So I'm going to put a 20 here. Always go. It's another. These are good questions. You always go clockwise. Okay. So I'm just. This is like example one. This is the example two. Okay. So let's just put up our hands, and. Put these out quick. Yes, what's one of them? South, 20, west. Come on, throw them at me. We only got two people answering. You guys should know these now. Let's go. West, 70, south. Yes. Um, no. 180. 200. Yeah. I know. I could tell that's what you meant to say. Okay. So just one more. Right here. And this would kind of, I think, answer Daniel's question, this example, a bit, right? Because I don't want you saying, bearing a 20 on that one. That would be bad, right? On the third one. On example three. Okay, so I let a couple people off the hook that we're going to call that bearing 20. Okay, let's get some new people. Hmm? North, 20, west. West 70 north, 340 degrees. Now the rest, like when you're going through this, it's just kind of like um, every question so different that I could probably do, if I did 20 of them for you as examples, you'd watch them and whatever, but it's like you got to do 20 of them as examples, right? And then you start getting all the little nuances they put in there. But I believe you need to know this stuff well or the other stuff kind of, it's way too much. Okay, it is just way too much because I don't know how to do direction and I got to try and find out all these other things too. Okay, so I hope this is like a good, you know, this is really good stuff to have on a study sheet. 
you know, I would have a couple examples and my three ways and how to do this and make a note, always go clockwise, you know, bearings always from north, that sort of thing. Um, you know, the, the inscribed angles, you know, will always be the same no matter where you go. So they're going to use that one on you, right? And then, of course, the parallel lines, because we're always dealing with north, east, south, west, so they have to be parallel every time you do that compass. Okay, any questions? Okay. So I hope, yep. Are you talking about the third answer? The third answer is 90... 180, 270, right? And I would actually just take 360 and minus 20 to get my my angle. But yeah, that one you're you know if you're one degree off, you're going 359, right? That would be your bearing. If you're one degree on the left side of north, you're going 359. That's your bearing. Okay, that's how it's done. So. Again, it's a language that uh, probably if you've taken physics already, you know. But if you haven't, then it's all new. And I guess it'll be re review for you next year or next semester. Okay, so uh, we have...